Hello everybody, today we're doing a video on the five top reasons we know that people will move away from Flagstaff, Arizona. <laughs> special guest Kristen Smith here with me because Kristen has been born and raised in Flagstaff and she is raising family in Flagstaff right now so who better to get the scoop on why people move away from Flagstaff uh -huh. than interviewing a native Flagstaff so Kristen Smith and I I am a realtor in Northern Arizona Kristen is my preferred lending partner we do a lot of real estate transactions together so if you're ever interested in learning about um, buying or selling a home in Flagstaff Sedona Verde Valley Prescott area my contact contact information is always in the description below and today I'm also going to have Kristen's contact information in the description below because if you want to get hold of either of us Kristen can pre-qualify you for a loan when you're ready to start shopping if you're interested in buying a home in northern Arizona so let's go ahead and talk about the five reasons that sometimes people decide to move away from Flagstaff Arizona okay so number one reason I think that it could be is that it's expensive to live in Flagstaff for some people, you know, it's definitely a higher cost of living. Homes could be more expensive. Um, so this is definitely sometimes where people want to move to maybe lower elevation down to the Cottonwood area or to Phoenix to get into a more affordable home. Okay, I do see that a lot too. Yeah. Flagstaff and Sedona, both very expensive markets, probably the same yes. uh, often reason people will move away from Sedona. And I have seen it where people will have a home, they've lived in Flagstaff or Sedona a long time, and then they sell it. And with the proceeds of that, they're able to buy a house for cash yeah. in some place like Phoenix or Cottonwood. So yeah, that that is a common reason I know about mm -hmm. people moving away. And then I think another one would be that sometimes people will come to Flagstaff and love the mountain town idea small town but then they realize it's just not big enough for them mm. so it's still although it's not super tiny of a town there's still not like the big you know there's not a costco there's not the big shopping mm. uh, no trader joe's <laughs> things like that i get that complaint a yeah. lot about trader joe's not one here in birdie valley either so <laughs> yeah i wish they would get one i really do but maybe someday but i think a lot of times people will move out here and just think you know i just need to be closer to the bigger life of you know sporting events and Mm. things like that although we do have it it's just have to do that two hour drive yeah but it's just not enough for some people mm. so yeah. that's number two and then i think number three is the jobs can be hard to find oh, there yeah. or hard to get so we do have some really good places to work there then you're gonna you know have a good career but they can be hard to get into or there's just not a lot of opportunity for other types of jobs as you would have in the bigger cities so i think that could be a big thing and that kind of goes with also the expensive part of it, because if you can't find that good paying job in Flagstaff mm. to be able to afford your budget, then that's why people will go elsewhere to work. Yes. Unless I've seen a lot more though, of people working remotely and living in Flagstaff. Yes, in recent good. years yeah. actually makes it a little bit more affordable. Not that it's more affordable, but more people able to afford it because they have a tech job someplace else and they're able yeah. to live in Flagstaff. But yeah. Um, yeah, it does seem like there are a few jobs where you've got, um, the university, you've got the healthcare industry, maybe W.L. Gore, Karina, um, and then of course the hospitality industry, which is not known for high paying jobs, mm -hmm. but you can get jobs. Yes, so, lots of those jobs there and really mm -hmm. great places to go see for that, but that's mm -hmm. another video. Yeah. <laughs> so I think the another reason would be the snow. If you know, so this last year we had record snow for the year. But other years we won't have as much snow so it's really hit or miss on just that winter but a lot of times people come and say you know this is just too much snow for me i don't want to shovel i don't want to deal i want to go somewhere where just a little bit lower elevation where it's not going to be as cold for me mm -hmm. um so i think that could be one reason why people wouldn't want to live there well speaking of elevation have you heard people complain about um just the thin air having a hard time breathing that's actually was going to be my oh, number five. Sorry, I you guess got, we should have yeah. talked about that. <laughs> yeah, no, number five right there. That's a good point is that a lot of people that, you know, they'll get there, the air, you know, the elevation is about 7,200 feet. And so it just can be a lot harder to breathe. And some people don't adapt as well as they thought they would, especially, you know, coming in from lower elevation and then being up there. Or sometimes people will be there for a while and then, you know, they get some shortness of breath and have to move lower because of that. So it's definitely something to consider when, when coming out here. 
You know, that's kind of interesting because maybe as people age, they become less tolerant. I know that yeah. uh, I had a place at Mormon Lake for many years. My mother used to go to all the time. And then as she got into her mid seventies, suddenly she had a hard time breathing and stopped coming up. So I could yeah, see I that maybe, you know, when she was in her fifties, sixties, it wasn't an issue. And then she turned about 72, 74. Suddenly she had a problem every time. And I think mm -hmm. it was because of the high altitude. Maybe as you age, it might be more difficult to manage. So. Yeah, I think it's hit or miss. I mean, some people do and some people don't have any problems at all with it. So yeah, that's true. I've seen or, some young people struggle with it also. So, But I don't guess. be scared if you come and it's like that the first day you get there. Because a lot of times it does take, you know, a day or two oh, just true. for your body to get used to it. And then you're good to go after that. But long term wise, or if you're coming out with, you know, asthma and things like that, that might be something to think about. Okay. Is that all you have for your list? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The one perfect. more I thought of is just that if you, we have a lot of NAU students, you know, Northern Arizona students that they will come and then they graduate after four or five years and then move away. But uh, yeah. those aren't typically homeowners, but that is a little bit of the, you know, change in the population over time. So uh, that's a pretty good list though. Yeah. I think, you know, there's really not too many things to want to leave like stuff for, but mm -hmm. I definitely say those are the ones. So, All right. well, yeah. thank you, Kristen. Yeah, it's you're always welcome. a pleasure having you. Yeah, thank you so much. So, again, my name is Dawn Dickinson. I'm a realtor here in Northern Arizona, and Kristen Smith at Academy Mortgage is my preferred lending partner. We love to do deals together. So, yeah. if you wanted to reach out to either of us to find out about uh, Northern Arizona real estate or getting pre qualified for a loan, if you're thinking about buying something, at least Kristen can also tell you. Like, can you afford to buy a place in Flagstaff? She could see exactly how much you can pre-qualify for you. And is that enough to buy a home in Flagstaff mm -hmm. or somewhere in Northern Arizona? So it's always yeah. good to reach out if you're questioning it and you're not sure. So uh, the channel Living in Northern Arizona, we cover topics about living in Northern Arizona every single week. So if you like the video, please consider subscribing, hit the thumbs up, and I hope to see you back here again next week.